they have a whole library of things that they want to believe. They've bought into these things. A lot of people have no problem talking about you to dirt sheets. A lot of people have no problem talking about you in, in the book. But when it comes to a face-to-face -face, you know, altercation, it, it doesn't happen. New Jack is here. He wanted to ask you about ECW. I called Sean to make it a point to come up here and tell you this to your face. I would want you to do something authentic. Um, I would prefer it to be, you know, maybe of the more provocative nature, which I know you have no, no problem with. The only, again, the only, it would have to stop, the line would have to stop at, at shenanigans. I can't go to shenanigans with you. Steve Austin almost being like a higher version in shape of Sandman. I don't have one ounce of animosity in my body for James E. Cornette. Jim was still very much old school, okay? So in those early sessions, there was a lot of this between me and Jim. A lot of this. Well, Vince Russo needs a filter. He can't operate without someone to filter his ideas and, and make them better. You know what, if I'm going to be honest, that makes me want to vomit all over Sean right here. Because let, 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 me, let me tell you the, the right way to respect the writer. Five years that I worked with him, never one time said, Vince, you can't do that. Vince, that sucks. Vince, we're not going to do that. Never. And it worked this way because of Vince's ultimate respect for what I did, okay? A respect that, in my opinion, again, let me make that clear, a respect that was zero in TNA. Dixie told me that Eric Bischoff and Hulk Hogan were coming. And so any plans I had, any plans that Matt and I had, any direction we were thinking of going in, um, that, that was the end. Who would your top five draft picks be in why? Did the fire Russo chance ever get to you? So, you know, I, I'll be honest with you. They would get to me when I had nothing at all to do with the idea. Why did you fuck over John Arezzi all those years ago? Have you spoken to John Arezzi since the Long Island screw job? They Stan. can sit out there and criticize me all they want. I love Viagra on a pole. I love Judy Bagwell on a pole. Never, never been done before or since in the history of wrestling. Right. How many on a pole matches can you name in 15 seconds? Okay, we need to, uh, we need to do this uh, the proper way here. I have in my hand every on a pole match uh, that you were responsible for. I want to check your memory. Is there a camera I can look into? Straight ahead, right Anthony. on there. Anthony, let me explain something to you about writing professional wrestling slash sports entertainment. Vince! <laughs> when I was booking and they brought you in to take the spot, any regrets? <laughs> What's the best place to get a piece of that New York City? Oh, Christ, there goes the Statue of Liberty. Being a former video store owner, what are your favorite 80s horror movies? It is now time for the VHS box art game. Uh, an image will come up on the screen and uh, we will see if you can identify the film. Pretty well myself. Okay. Oh, boy, that's, okay. that's a layup, right? Okay. When will you reveal your conversion to religion as a giant storyline and swerve becoming an it's atheist? Just, yeah. see, see, see if you can lick that's this off. Yeah, I'm not licking anything on you. Tony Maurizio, that, 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 the Mel Phillips reference was enough. Tony Maurizio, 1985. Did any female talent offer you sexual favors for better spots on the card? Yes. Oh! May Young. Booker loses the rights to the T in his ring name. Big T. Billy Kidman in the main event with Hogan. Russo versus John Rocker at Starcade. Never happened, but you push for it. Beetlejuice helps Booker T win the title. Uh, Jim Duggan, a Canadian heel, and Stacy Keebler is pregnant. Loved it all. What happened in those days, man?